Let's go. Come on, bring it. Hello, everybody. It's Pinstripe Paragon. Welcome back to some more World of Final Fantasy. Uh, in this episode, we're coming across a new, uh, a new mirage that I didn't even know was here. But now that I see it, I kind of remember it. So, I'll explain what I was doing in a second. But let's just try and get the bat. That's what we're mainly after. And it looks like we need a little bit more topple for it to come down. So, I'm going to try this. And it, it, it missed. Okay. There we go. All right, so let's use, well first, I'm just gonna get rid of the right claw. It's not like it's going to really do anything. Then the death skull, okay. Now let's figure out what I need to do. Probably something dumb. Inflict blindness. So I might be able to do that if I have those items left from uh, that one battle, but I don't think I do. Yeah. Oh, well. Yeah, I don't have anything that inflicts blindness, do I? Nope. Well, uh, it's there. If you want one. We'll, we'll get one eventually from Transfiguration, so I'm not too concerned. So, as you can see, I don't have that many, um, mirages in my party right now. This is just a theory I have. But I feel as though, if you go with less mirages, it's easier to level up. Why would I need to level up? Well, there's a thing we can do here, but we need the smash ability. So I need to just get this copper gnome up one more level in order to use it. So that's what I'm doing at the moment. And I'll just meet you guys when I'm finally at level 19 with this thing. Alright, so, I finally got the Copper Gnome up one level, so real fast, this will affect my stacks, I'm going to make it a Mithril Giant, and now I'm going to go to the Mirage Board. Because, now that he's a Mithril Giant for right now, we now have Smash, which is what we need in order to get to the secret area of this place, the Icicle Ridge, I don't know. One more thing I want to do, however... Since we have a pa baby pale berry, I'm going to teach you some skills. If I can, pretty soon I want it to learn banish. But I don't think that's going to happen soon, unfortunately. So what I think I'm going to end up doing now is I'm just going to take on this boss and then we'll go back later. So let me check out my stacks real quick, and then I'll be right back. So this is what my team looks like. I put Mithril Giant down there just because. Got the Black Knack up there for some fire damage. Same with Tama. Leg out. This boss really shouldn't be that difficult, I don't think. Especially since we got some fire skin. We got you now, Furface. Lon, wait. Did the wolves lure us here? No way. What is it, sis? Could it be? These wolves have more brains than you? Where did that come from? That's cold pointing at me every time something goes wrong. Yeah, well, an icicle ridge, do as the icicles do. An icicle is the point. What? Um, guys, maybe you should save it. All right, so we got a bit of a mini boss here. As you can probably guess, the big dude is the main threat. So I'm going to use Thunderbolt as I can take out all the small knacks in one hit. Wow, I was not expecting it to do that much damage, but okay. Let's use Red Fang. Okay, this should go pretty smoothly since we got all these fire abilities. Foxfire, Red Fang. And we're already done. <laughs> wow. I mean, not quite yet, but even though I basically jinxed it, I didn't jinx it, if that makes sense. 
See, wow, that was way easier than I was expecting. But we still get a decent amount of XP. And the baby pale berry didn't level up at all. But we got the Fenrir Memento, an Arma some Arma Gems, and a Mega Phoenix. And a thousand gil, so I I really can't complain. Okay, that was fun. Well, that's the one way to do it. Rethia, are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. Thank you. Once we're out of here, Seronius just to skip away. Okay. So down here what what's down here oh okay so we got this guy uh oh he's only level 15 huh i could probably take this one on too i just need to change my stacks a little bit just to sort of emphasize magic but i I don't think I can do anything more. I think... Well, I need Tama on the other stack, so... Yeah. I th I would think I'm ready. Let's do it. Why not? Right, let's do this. Here we go! So... We have all these flam. They're weak to magic, as you could probably guess if you're a Final Fantasy fan. Oh, shit. This is all physical damage. Oh, except Tremor, but it affects all of them. Well, here's the thing. Attacking them with physical attacks is how we imprison them. Okay. So what I'm going to do... Oh. Hmm. Well... Let's see. Oh, okay. I can just do that then. Let's... I want to get it down to like two of them before I try and imprison it. So let's see. I'll just get rid of this one. Okay. I'm going to unstack... Wait. Who am I... Who am I attacking with right now? Okay, I'm just going to unstack with everybody. Because I feel like a lot of these Mirage is going to be powerful enough as it is. Yeah, see? That was nothing. Uh, so I'll attack. Okay, attack once more. And... And we'll put another attack in there. So that's our best chance, I'm pretty sure. I just need to get to Lana Rain's turn. Here we go. Let's imprison it. Okay. Got ourselves a flan. Uh. Good job. Meh. I'm not really that excited for it. I just wanted the items. Five gold hourglasses and some gill. Okay. So. Yeah, their magic defense is awful. But they have decent agility and regular defense. They're just too lopsided on that department though for me to actually recommend using it so i'm just going to hmm. let me see what level is this guy level 10 how close am i to the banish ability still three levels away okay so i'll, I'll meet you guys at the save point first and foremost and then that's mainly just to heal. And then we'll kind of go over there to the right. Alright, so I went and healed up at the save point. Let's head down this way. What is down here? A treasure chest. Okay. Three ethers. Okay. So that's almost everything. So we're going to head down this way. Real fast. Hopefully I can get my baby, my baby pale berry up enough. But we'll just have to see how that goes. Okay, let's do this. So, if I go down, down, uh, west, down, 
Uh, this way? Oh, that... Wow, I feel kind of stupid. Anyway. Now that we have the Mithril Giant with Smash. It... Smash... It... it yeah. Anyway. So now, we have this. We need an Earth Resistance greater than 100 and weight of 11. So, with the Mithril Giant, I think that'll pretty much do it. We just need a couple more uh, resistances to Earth. So, it looks like we got this. And do I have anything that will get me there? Oh, f***. Unless this thing's, like, even more... Re I'll be right back. Of course there's a battle. Why wouldn't there be? So it looks like the black choco chick has a lot of earth resistance. So I'm just going to add that to the party, and I'll, I'll meet you guys back there. So let's use the mithril giant. Really, probably don't need the Princess Goblin, but, I mean, might as well make it look even. And, here we go. So what'll this do, you might ask? Well. So not only does it make it easier for us to navigate this, it also gives us a way to get to the northwest exit. However, as much as I want to go there right now, I don't think that's something I will be doing. Because I want to imprison a mirage up there, but I don't have an ability at the moment, which is banish on the baby Tonberry to allow me to be able to imprison it. So, and I think I need like three more levels for it. Something along those lines. It's going to take a while. So we're just going to head on out of here. Probably face ten more battles at least. So yeah, if you ever need to level up a Mirage, just put it in your main stack. Because I don't think... If it's just sitting around, you'll get as much experience as if it was in the main stack. I could be wrong. Probably am. What the hell? It's cool looking, but I don't know what it's supposed to be. So, we come out on the other side of the ice region. And it's just as cold as the first region. What is that? Is that a pirate ship? Oh. What? How is it not... Saronia Harbor, but... Oh, well. Oh, wow, I was basically done with Chapter 6. Wow. Welcome to Saronia. Thank you for your help. I'm going to go see my uncle now. Take care. Aww. What is it? I just noticed the whole of the town seems to have a threshold around it. Huh? Then does that mean there's a powerful mirage here in Saronia? Very get close. Keep an eye open. Hey. What's the matter? I thought you'd gotten kind of quiet. It's so cold! I thought it would be warmer in this town, but it isn't. Not at all! <laughs> uh, what I step on? Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> You're such a weirdo. Why are you apologizing to a cat? But you should have seen the look on its face. It scared the honk out of me. 
since it's our first time here, why don't we ask around and try to learn more about the place? Sure. That's a good idea. Can you believe it? If we raise our civic rank, we can spend the rest of our lives in a castle, wanting for nothing. I've got to get cracking on my own rank if I want to be an architect. Was that a reference to Seinfeld? I want to be an architect. I've always wanted to be an architect. I hate worrying about my civic rank. Normally, I wouldn't give two shakes of a chocobo's tail feathers about it. But now that the Federation sends you to the slums if you don't try to raise it, you have a choice. Yo, this Federation messed up. Why can't I? The harbor is off limits to outsiders. You can't let just anyone inside. Sorry about that. I just want the treasure chest, bro. Whatevs. Set down this way. See what we can find. The shanty town. Oh boy. Whoa, what happened to this place? I know. How can it be so different from the next road over? I don't know, but let's get this treasure. So we got occult fan issue two. What could this one possibly have for us and I have to mention this because this was in the last episode I mentioned it on the video but I didn't bring it up in my voice so basically I said we got the warlock hammer or something like that and uh, it, they're warmers I feel really stupid but whatever <laughs> it happens Well, I mean, George Costanza would love to be an architect. The moment Saronia joined the Federation, things around here took a turn for the worse. What could the Thane possibly be thinking? Maybe he's not thinking at all. You know, from the sound of it, they must have joined up with the Federation pretty recently. I think now I'm starting to see what Princess Sarah meant. Well, for now... Why don't we see if we can go talk to that Thane guy about the League of S? I'm probably wasting my breath, but try to watch what you say around here. Uh, sure. Looks like the Thane's manor is at the very tippity the top of the town! Let's move! It's the out! Sorry, I had to cut out a big-ass yawn. Oh, it's Refia again. I said for you to scram, kid! Will you just listen to what I have to say? Is that... Refia? Uh, you caught up! What's going on here? They giving you trouble? I already told them that the Thane is my uncle. I'm not allowed to talk to my own flesh and blood now? I don't care who you're supposed to be, because you ain't seeing him! Dude, what? Well, you see, sir, we are here to meet the Thane on behalf of Princess Sarah of Cornelia. Have a look for yourselves. That's the Cornelian seal. What now? I expected better from you, considering you're practically our neighbors. Yeah, you tell him, Rain. Cornelia's got giants for emissaries? They got some kind of royal Cornelia thing with them. What? You sure? Beats me. You gonna send him packing and take the risk? Wait here. I'll go check with his thane ship. The thane says he'll see you. Let's go, Refia. Huh? Hey, the girl stays here. Refia's part of our entourage. That's right. She just anteceded us. What? Toodaloo. Thank you, guys. You're always there for me. No big deal. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't a lie. We were all heading in more or less the same direction. You must be the giant emissaries from Cornelia. Oh, uh, yes. 
We're here too. I hear the Federation finally gave up and just invaded them. Are you telling me the invasion failed? Hmm? Are you here to ask for my help? Yes, they did try to invade, but for the moment... Who are you? Hmm? Why, Refia, is that you? Who are you? My dear, please. It's me, your uncle... No! You are not Uncle Taka! Wait, sorry, what? <laughs> then I was right. If you've managed to see through this facade, then there's no mistake. You are a medium. Yes, I was wise to make sure you left town, and to ensure that you never returned. Where's Uncle Taka? Why, he's standing right in front of you. Make no mistake, little girl. This is your uncle. What are you... How intriguing. This must be an act of fate. The giants from the hills here, and with them, a champion's medium. And not just any medium. One that bleeds the same blood as this body. <laughs> it's more than fate. It has to be destiny. How can I not rise to it? That answers that. He's the one who put up the threshold here. Oh, hell no. Ain't nobody got time for this. So, is he a Bahamutian soldier? Well, he's nothing like the ones we fought so far. Be careful. So, this boss really shouldn't be too much of a problem. He doesn't have any weaknesses, though. So, I'm pretty much just going to go with my best attacks. I feel like Thunder is probably going to be the best one for me with... Lon? Sorry, I, I keep forgetting their names half the time. Then probably Red Fang. With rain. Now, let's see. The main reason I'm using Thunder over Foxfire is mainly just to save AP. Because I think I'd be able to use that more often than not. If I were to go with Foxfire, that is. Because I think I regained 2 AP each turn. So, you know, just using the lesser, the better. And wow, Rain's physical attack does a lot better than her magic. Interesting. But let's get another red fang in. That was pathetic. I'm, I'm probably just still over leveled, but whatever. Uh, my baby Paleberry is still only level 11. But we get three more armor gems. I'll take it. Show me more. Does fate bind us? Has destiny aligned us? Show me. Sir Shikwaridis, what? Why are you? You are a fool to so much as inquire. Imbecile beyond belief to let a medium to champion a fire! Uh, okay. That's not good. Away from death. Away from life, they stay. Contain them or you'll... Quick, this way! Huh? Huh? Isn't that the same... Well, are you guys coming or not? <laughs> <laughs> the gods would caution us. Is this a sign that we'll not go unchallenged? That there's no way to know the pieces are alive? <laughs> <laughs> Whew, that was too close. Shalada, thank you. Huh? huh? I just knew you would get yourselves in trouble. And boy, did you prove me right. Oh, what?
What do you call that creepy trick? You're the creepy one here. Unbelievable. <sighs> Would you just put these on, then take another look at the town? <gasps> what the honk? Huh? Is that coming out of the sky? Listen me! I want to have a the turn! Hey! Rebia! You should have a look too! How do you explain this? Don't expect any help from me on that one. After all, not even the visitor who left those monocles at my inn could tell me exactly what it's showing us or how. From what I was told, every member state in the Federation is trussed up like this. So, I thought I'd bring the lenses here, but maybe I didn't have to. The Thane was visibly crazy. What in Grimoire is going on? <sighs> okay, guess we'll file that one under no one knows. So what do we do? We came here to ask about the League of S, but all we found was a lot more questions. Sorry, did you say the League of S? That's right. <coughs> oh, if that's all it is, then maybe I can help you out. You can? Oh, sure. I know a few people right here in Seronia who should be able to get in touch with the League. I'll ask them to pass on your message. Do you mean it? Thank you! Charlotte's been around a lot longer than she looks, so she knows tons of people. Isn't that great? Don't you talk about my age. <laughs> so, like, what's with you in the catamorphosis? That is a very long story that I don't feel like telling. But, I will say this. Cats get around. Huh? Yep. Oh, uh, that's cool. Yep. So, the real question is, what are you two planning to bite off next? We've still got a lot to puzzle over. But now that the League of Vest thing is settled, I think we'd better resume our quest to find mirages. Yeah. Plus, we've got that castle. And Mom to track down along the way, too. Sounds pretty good to me. From here, the best place to go next would have to be the low seas. In which case, you basically have no choice but to find a boat down at the docks. I guess this is the last town on the continent. Okay then, we'll figure something out. So what about you two? Are you coming back to the Solace, Refia? The wolves have been taken care of now, so the only thing to fight off is the cold. Sure, I need some time to digest this business with Uncle Taka. The solace sounds great, if you'll have me. Of course I will. Well, you two, thank you so much for everything. Best of luck in all your adventures. Thanks. Take care. Hey, Charlotta. Thanks for stepping in to help. Sure. Speaking of stepping in, I don't suppose you were planning to make it up to me for trouncing on my tail? <gasps> oh, so that really was you. Gosh, I was kind of hoping you'd forget. So we got Magic Monocles and Refia's Champion Medal. So, believe it or not, that actually concludes Chapter 7. Basically. There's still one little thing we should probably do. And that's to actually go to the harbor just so I can... Mm, nah. I'll save it for next time. Or wait. Chapter 8. Never mind. So let's see. Refia said to borrow a boat at the docks and head to the low seas. Well then, why don't we try asking around town? And see if anyone's renting them out. So, I am going to end off the episode here. We're not going to do any of the story stuff next time, either. We're going to be doing some extra things that I have yet to do. So, thank you guys for watching. Later days. And I'll see you guys next time.